Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Docs42 class, which today is about our brand new Docs42 management UI. We also like to call it MAUI. My name is Lisa Pulsinger. I'm Senior Technical Evangelist and let me show you what I've prepared for you today. So at first I will introduce you to the Docs42 MAUI. We're gonna see an overview of all your possibilities with it. You can use it with Docs42 online, but also as a management UI with your Docs42 on-premise server. We're gonna look at different authentication methods, which can be Microsoft authentication or also with an admin at, um, authentication. We're gonna have a look at the service and info page. We're gonna work on the settings like adding trusted template locations and SharePoint online sites for the Azure Active Directory settings. And we're gonna look at how the help page helps you. At first, we're gonna look at how the Docs42 online MAUI looks for Docs42 online customers. And then there's one more feature available for Docs42 dedicated online instances and on-premise servers where you can manage and upload files. Good. So let's get started. So now let's start uh, with how to access your Docs42 Online MAUI. If you're already a Docs42 Online customer, you might be familiar on how to log in so far with the old management UI. You called it up here with HTTPS, then your Docs42 Online tenant, docs42.online slash admin was used before, but now you call it with your tenant and then slash MAUI slash home. Good. And this will lead you to this home screen. And now, once we set up your Docs42 online instance for you, you first have the possibility to log in with a username and password. And I'm going to log in with that now. And also for you to know, once you log in for the first time, you will be prompted to change your password. Um, also, if you forgot your password, you have the possibility to add a recovery email with us so that we will send you a recovery link if that's needed. Good. Now we're logging in and here we are on the Docs42 online MAUI now. So it's a brand new and a fresh look. And now we can see all the possibilities we have. Um, so you can see that we have a settings area. This is where we add all our Azure Active Directory relevant information, like where you store your templates, who, what are the trusted template locations and so on, and also the mail server. Then we have the log and service information, which versions of the Docs42 server are you currently using, for example, and you can also test your web service. We have the help page with lots of um, informations and documentation and then there's also a page for the authentication settings where we can switch between the local admin user and your Microsoft 365 users and we're gonna get started with that one so I'm going to the authentication settings And here we can see that currently we have set the basic authentication methods. Our login name is an admin and here is our recovery email, which you can let us know. We want to change those settings now and we want to change it to Microsoft authentication. So here I go to Microsoft authentication and then here I add an Azure Active Directory app ID and a redirect URL. Here's also some further help information about a web redirect URL. Basically what you need for that um, is a Docs42 online app registration with an Azure Active Directory. All of that, the details of that are also described in our Docs42 documentations, for example, the SharePoint, TFO and the D365 CE documentation. But I'm also going to show you the most important things we need here for the app registration. So in Azure Active Directory, I've set up an app ID, which I'm copying from here. 
that's needed in that case. And then I also need to add a redirect URI. It's optional here, but as soon as you have more different redirect URLs added to your Docs42 online app registration in Azure Active Directory, we recommend that you also add it specifically here. So basically, here's the overview of your app registration with your app and tenant ID, which you may need later. And in the authentication tab, this is where you add your redirect URIs. And the one we need is the one of our Docs42 online tenant and the one that goes to Maui and slash home. Good. I click on change. And now my Docs42 online server is changing the authentication method from a local admin and username to a Microsoft 365 login. And then you can log in with your M365 um, username and password and you can decide which users should be, um, should be able to log in or not. Good. Now we can see I can sign in with Microsoft and I want to do that now. And since in this browser I was already logged in, we can see welcome Lisa. So I didn't need to, to add my username and password now. Um, and here we can see that at the moment this star says that every user with um, that's within my tenant can log in. but I can also edit that and say that only me can log in. And now only I can log in and no one else with another username can do so. So this is how you manage it all here. If you want to go back that everyone can log in, just add the star again, or you can adhere some more specific uses. And by the way, if you go once again to change settings, you can always switch back between the local admin login and um, also the Microsoft authentication. And this is also the place where you go when, when you want to change your local admin password from the old password to the new one. Good. So now we changed the authentication method and we're logged in with my Microsoft user. And now let's look at some other features we have. Let's first go, go to the log and service page. And this is your overview page for your Docs42 service. So we can see here the login name, so the currently logged in user. We can see the server version you're using, the, the you, um, the management UI version and as well as the current app ID you use for your authentication. Here you can see all your additional modules. If next to the Docs42 server you're also using Dynamics, for example, if OCEPC, SwissQR, SAP or others, it will be shown here. And down below, this is where you can see your log files. So whenever you're making calls with Docs42, it's going to be logged in the log file, which you can access over here via the log and service page. Our machines are um, load balanced. So here you can switch between the different log files. You can here change the level. If you want to trace error or debug, it might take a bit of time that the change is into place. So that's that. And you can also always download the latest log file. And um, the latest entries whenever you made a call are always visible on the last page here. Good. What else you can do here is that you can restart the web service and also test the web service. Clicking on test web service will actually generate a sample template for you and you can always test it to see if your server is running. Good. Let's go back to home and let's check out what else it is that we can change and set up here. And for that, we go to the settings page. And the settings page, you might be familiar with that from the old Docs42 management UI already. Here is the place where you can add your mail server settings. Here you can add your SharePoint online sites where you manage your templates on as well as your trusted template locations 
and you can also upload your Aspose licenses here. Let's start with up here. So here, the mail server settings you need to add if you want to send emails via Docs42. If you don't want that, feel free to skip it. Then down below, this here is important because you manage your templates on SharePoint Online when you use Docs42 Online. And for authentication reasons with Azure Active Directory, you here need to add your SharePoint Online sites where you manage your templates on. And that needs to be added with the app ID, a tenant ID and the client key. In my example today, I here have a SharePoint page where I have all my templates stored and I want to add that one. So here it's important, I need the site link, not the link to the library or just the root, it's really the site link. And then I go here on add, this is just a sample entry which you can already see, but if you had some more, you could already copy it and then the app ID, tenant ID and client secret would be populated automatically, like in that case. But here, I'm adding my URL and then I add the app ID and tenant ID, which I once again find in my uh, app registration. Here is the app ID. Then I need my tenant ID, which I add here. And then the client secret. The client secret is added here through certificates and secrets. Just be careful when you add it, you, you will need the value of the client secret. This is just visible once, afterwards it's hidden. So we really recommend you to save it somewhere in a key pass or in a safe place. And then you can add it to your Docs42 online management UI, which I will do now. Here is my client secret. I click on confirm and now a new Docs42 online site was added where I manage my templates. And now very important, I need to click on save and deploy so that in the background on your Docs42 online server, all your changes are updated as well. And now here you can always see uh, when was the last deployment. So that was just now on UTC time. And here we have that one. Then the next thing, very important next to the sites where we manage the templates, we also need to add trusted template locations. In our case, that's also SharePoint. So here you can add the link and here you could also add the link to the site. So if you just uh, manage templates on a specific library or you could just have your SharePoint root. Click on confirm and here you can see once again changes have to be deployed. So after we have confirmed, we need to click on save and deploy as well. Good. So now this is done. We have our site for the templates. Of course, you can add as much as you want. We have a trusted template locations down here. You can upload your expose license file, which you can just drag and drop in here. So that's all the settings you need to do here on your Docs42 online management UI. And there's only one more thing left to show here, and that's the help page. And basically the help page is there to assist you. If you need some help with your Docs42 service here, you could call the web service for you, for example, here you could just get a direct link to the different documentation of Docs42. You can download the server designer and so on. And down here you can find our support. So very important, there are two support addresses. One is for the product support. So any questions related to how your Docs42 online is working, any product issues and so on. And then there's support at docs42.online that's used for emergency support. So if you have any, any emergency, then contact this one. Otherwise, always support at docs42.com. Good. 
And that was the overview for um, a Docs42 online customers. You can change your authentication. You can have always have a look at the log and service on any calls, maybe some error messages, some successfully generated documents you can retrieve there in the settings. Very important for your initial and for your further setup of working with Docs42 and the help page. Good. And then the, in the agenda, we had one more um, thing, and that is for Docs42 online customers that work with a dedicated instance or um, also Docs42 um, on-premise customers. They have one additional option here. And what they have is, as you can see, they have one more thing here, and that's manage files. So next to storing the templates on SharePoint Online, Docs42 on-premise customers could also manage and upload their files on their Docs42 server and also um, customers with a dedicated Docs42 Online instance. They have this one up here available and then here they can upload files to specific server on their site, so their templates. What they can do is here they can choose their files for example, here I have a template and I say that should be added to the event ticket folder. I click on confirm and now the documents are uploaded here. You can see on C Docs42 server templates. Good. And now I can generate my documents with that. What's important for that when you work with that and upload your files through here in the settings area, you need to make sure that within the trusted template locations, we can see the C docs42 server slash templates is added here. When your docs42 online customer with a dedicated instance, we will provide the correct path to you. And if you're working with an on-premise server, you can configure that yourself in the web.config. Let me just quickly show you that. Basically, in the web.config for your MAUI, when we open that one, this is where you configure a lot of different settings, like your local username and password. Here, of course, it's encrypted, your recovery email, and here with the upload path, if you want to enable that, here you say, okay, to which path your templates should be uploaded. Good. That's it from our side today. Uh, we hope you enjoy the brand new Docs42 MAUI. If you need any support from our side, just go to the help page, find the email address support at docs42.com and reach out to us anytime. And also don't forget to use the examples, tutorials and resources on our website where we have many, many different tutorial videos, documentation and you can filter them according to your needs with type and technology and so on. Thank you very much. Bye bye.